welcome back dear friends into the another lecture of uh, mathematics for the ec branch right uh, we are discussing about the model question papers and already i have uploaded the model question paper set 2 and uh, also the two questions from the model question paper set 1 so you can go through i have provided the link in the description box you can watch them okay so let us discuss the question number 1c from the model first of the model question paper set 1 find the constant term and the first harmonics in the fourier series of f of x given it is a very simple question so you should not uh, skip this video very very simple question if you just grip the concept then you can easily do another problems okay so x is equal to 0 pi by 3 2 pi by 3 pi 4 pi by 3 5 pi by 3 and 2 pi is given and f of x uh, or it is also denoted as y y is equal to f of x is given for the corresponding x values okay so as you know already uh, for the first harmonic series there is a formula y is equal to a naught by 2 plus a1 cos of x plus b1 sine of x these are called the first harmonic coefficients so in this particular question you are supposed to calculate this a1 a naught and b1 value this is the main value of this particular question okay so as you can observe here in this particular question it is function from 0 to 2 pi and see here at 0 y is equal to 1.0 and also at 2 pi 1.0 the same value is uh, for the y with the corresponding x when it is from 0 to 2 pi as you already know in the pu itself when a sinusoidal curve when you are drawing the sinusoidal, sinusoidal curve it is repeating the same path again and again okay like this one so this is your sinusoidal curve okay this will be same at this particular uh, what we call as curve over here or line you can see this is the sinusoidal graph okay so you don't need to go through the deeper concepts only you should remember the formulas over here that is all so the uh, a naught for a naught just because we are uh, supposed to calculate this a naught a1 and b1 value okay so a naught formula is 2 by n summation of y a1 value is 2 by n summation of y cos of x and b1 value is 2 by n summation of y sin of x so these are the formulas uh, only three formulas in this particular question which you have to use so now the question is what is the value of n <coughs> so i am telling you that at 0 and 2 pi same values are there we can omit one value so i am omitting this value okay no need to write just because values are same so 1 2 3 4 5 6 is your n value okay so this n is 6 in this case n is equal to 6 now we are supposed to calculate summation of y summation of y cos of x summation of y sin of x so simply i can draw a table where i write x y just because i need summation when i calculate this uh, when i sum up this y term i will get summation of y okay that i need here and also i need y cos of x y sin of x instead first we will calculate cos of x then sin of x then i can calculate y cos of x means you have to multiply this y into cos of x you will get y cos of x then y into sin x you will get y sin of x when you just sum up those terms you will get summation of y cos of x i need summation of y sin of x i need over here right so let's calculate now cos of uh, this one cos of x means x values are given so you have to write it so this is pi by 3 you can take uh, 180 by 3 that is <coughs> 60 2 pi by 3 you will get 120 i have converted into the angles okay <clears throat> so you can write it in this way also <clears throat> right so let me calculate now so cos of 0 i already know cos of 0 is 1 now cos of 60 i have to put it so cos of 60 is equal to 1 by 2 that is 0 0.5 so accordingly you can calculate these values now cos of 120 120 which is equal to minus 1 by 2 means minus 0 0.5 so i will directly now uh, write down the values instead of calculating it will be going uh, too long so i don't want to make this video too long over here okay this is your minus 0 0.5 so cos of 180 is minus 1 240 is minus 0 0.5 and cos of uh, 300 is 0 0.5 over here okay now sine of x sine of 0 is always 0 and sine of 60 sine of 60 is your 0 0.866 okay you can calculate it in the kelsey it is an easy job so 0 0.866 sine of 120 is also 0 0.866 right sine of 180 is 0 and your uh, 240 sine of 240 is minus 0 0.866 and the sine of 300 is also 0 point minus 0 0.866 okay now you have to calculate this one y cos of x means 1 into this one okay you will get values y cos of x so 1 into 1.0 that is 1 now uh, this is your y cos of 1.4 into 0 0.5 you will get 0 0.7 by calculating okay you can cross check also here <clears throat> 1.4 into 0 0.5 is 0 0.7 0 0.7 into 0 0.5 is 0 0.7 0 0.7 into 0 0.5 is 0 0.7 0 0.7 into 0 0.
so 1.4 into 0 0.5 1.4 into 0.5 you are getting 7 by 10 means 0 0.7 okay you have to calculate it so calculation part is yours so i will directly write down the value so minus 0 0.95 minus 1.7 minus 0 0.75 and 0 0.6 right then y sine of x means you have to multiply y with this uh, sine x 1 into 0 is 0 then i can write the values directly to 1 1.2124 that is 1.4 into 0 0.5 okay i hope you are getting this minus 1.6454 this is your 0 this is 1.299 this is your minus 1.039 okay now you have to accordingly sum up these terms so when you just sum up these terms you will get summation of y okay summation of y let's calculate it so see here i have taken these values so how much is the sum 8.7 is the sum for summation of y okay <clears throat> this is your 8.7 when you just calculate summation of y cos x okay you will get minus 1.1 okay then when you uh, just sum up this uh, y sine of x sorry these values are wrong over here please correct these values this is plus over here this is minus okay when you just calculate it is a calculation part when you just sum up now these terms you will get y sine of x is equal to 0 0.5196 okay this is the summation now you have to calculate these values so a naught is equal to 2 upon what is the n value 6 right 2 by 6 summation of y what is the summation of y value already getting here that is 8.7 so a naught is equal to let me calculate it now <clears throat> this is what 2 by 6 is 1 by 3 1 upon 3 multiplied by 8.7 which is equal to 2.9 okay so a naught is equal to 2.9 then a1 is equal to so a1 is equal to 2 by n is 1 by 3 means 2 by 6 summation of y cos of x so summation of y cos of x is minus 1.1 so you will get a1 value so a1 value when you just multiply it you will get minus 0 0.367 this is your a1 value now a2 a2 sorry b1 we have to calculate b1 is equal to 2 by 6 summation of y sine of x so what is the summation of y sine of x value 0 0.5196 so b1 you will get around 0 0.1732 this is your value for b1 now you have to put these a0 a1 and b1 value in this Fourier series expansion so that you will get uh, the correct answer so i mean i am writing over here due to less space so y is equal to a naught by 2 means a naught is 2.9 so 2 2.9 divided by 2 divided by 2 which is equal to 1.45 so i can write 1.45 plus what is a1 value minus 0 0.367 minus 0 0.367 times cos of x right plus b1 b1 means 0 0.1732 0 0.1732 and sine of x this is your required first harmonic Fourier series this is the answer for this question i hope this is clearly understood to you people so thanks for watching my video